three, two, one. Hi, beautiful! Welcome back to Kitty's Beauty Corner. I'm your host, Kitty. <laughs> Isn't that cool? I made myself a shirt. I know. Look at that. Purple and yellow are complementary colors. Did you know that? And those are also two of my very favorite colors in the whole world. I have my hair up today with a scarf. Oh, I didn't tell you. I love to wear scarves. I mean, I wear them all the time. I like to put them in my hair. And in the, the colder months, I like to wrap them around my neck, put them between my thighs. No. <laughs> I'm such a kidder. I don't put them between my thighs. <laughs> Let's see my hair and my neck. Okay. So today we're going to talk about liquid lipsticks. The ones that stay put. Because that is very important while we're wearing our masks. Am I right? I'm right. I'm one of those ladies that doesn't like to leave the house without something on my lips. I just feel naked and exposed. So you can see the conundrum when we're wearing masks now and like, I can't wear all my pretty lipsticks because it gets all over the mask. So what to do, what to do? Well, fortunately, I had already started a little collection of the long wear lip liquid sticks, tip stuff. You know what I mean? I had already started to collect those because I'm one of those people with chronic allergies. My nose runs constantly, all the time, all the time. And so you constantly have to blow your nose, which then takes off your top layer of lipstick. Yes, I hate it. So. Many, many years ago, I started to look into the liquid lipsticks, and I love them. Sometimes, sometimes not, because sometimes they're really drying, or sometimes they're super sticky, and they just don't feel good on your lips. So, I have amassed some of the best liquid lipsticks for you to try. Liquid lip, I don't know, you know, you get the gist. And, um, I've done my research. I told you in the first videos that I spend a lot of my time watching beauty videos, right? Well, while I do that, I do my research. And I have researched the heck out of liquid lipsticks. And I even bought a whole bunch to try. So I could share all of this with you. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. Because I don't have much time. <gasps> I forgot to set the timer. Should I do it? Can you stick with me for like four more minutes, five more minutes? Okay. I'm setting the timer now. Okay. Go past the 30. I'm going to do five minutes. Five minutes. Okay. So what I've done is I've labeled all of these liquid lipsticks. And because I don't have much time, I'm going to just line them up all over my lips. And then I'm going to put the notes down for you. Okay. Okay. The first one's by NYX Lingerie. This is number one. We're gonna just put it on the corner right here. Also, be sure you prepare your lips with some lip liner. I use the MAC lip liner. Oh, my glasses fell down. <gasps> Speaking of that, I have the cutest glasses to show you. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> oh, those are the best. Blingy, wonderful. I mean, naturally, my name's Kitty, so I love cat eye shaped glasses. And I love bling and fancy things, so aren't these the best? I know. I'll give you that information in the notes, too. Okay. So, I'm just going to leave these on because they're a little magnifying. NYA. I'm going to turn back the time because I got interrupted and off track. Back to five. Okay. Now, this one is Maybelline's. Superstay Matte Ink. This one gets very good reviews for the drugstore brand. So, number two. Right here. Number three. NARS. A little more expensive. Excellent. I'm going to put the shades and everything in the notes. Number four. 
Number three, NARS. Number four, Revlon Color Stay. I'm doing all different colors so you can see the differences. And we're gonna test out the stayability, the, the, the uh, stayability, the stayability on the masks and bread. Okay, here's another Maybelline uh, matte super shade, just a different shade. There. And the last one on the bottom will be another NARS in red. Uh-oh. It's a little messy. I get a little messy. Whenever you make a mess, you've got to get these little makeup Q-tips. See them? Pointy. And that helps you clean up your messes. Because I'm not very... I'm kind of jittery and like... I'm not very steady with my small micro moment mo movements, so I always need cleanup tools beside me. Oh, I got to hurry. Okay, this one's a new one I've never heard of. It's Gerard Cosmetics, but it got really good reviews on one of the uh, beauty videos. So, oh yeah, that feels really nice. I like that shade too. See it? This one's my all-time favorite. YSL. I mean. Excellent, excellent, one of my favorites, and one of my favorite shades. It's like a, a warm rose. And Stila also gets excellent reviews, excellent. Put that in the middle here. That's very, it's like a darker berry shade. Then, oh, now, L'Oreal Paris, excellent. The, I mean, I really love this one. This is the most similar to my favorite YSL, I think. Uh-oh, that went on a little thick. And then last but not least, oh, I have two Stila's. This one's Stila, this is another Stila. This one's a lighter one. Uh-oh, I went way out the line again. Look at that. Get my little cleaner up or see? Clean it up, see? Okay, now, I always need the blot because I get lipstick all the time on my teeth. See, see it? Uh-huh, right there, see, so. Blot, oh, see, blot, clean the teeth. A little, uh, little blot here, because I, I got too much of that one. Now, uh-oh, I'm getting it all over myself. Okay, so, now, you can see all the different shades, see? I know I didn't do a very nice job with it, but we're just gonna do the testing today. I don't have time to like, I don't have time to like do each individual lipstick on each lip because like I said, I don't know how to edit. Okay. Now, <laughs> gotta dry it off, dry it off. Dry it off, okay. Now, are you ready? Are you ready for the mass test? Now, so it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's how I've labeled them. So now we are going to try the mass test. Are you ready? Sit, go. Oh, not too bad. Okay. Now I'll be able to see which ones were bad. Well, in the very corner, NYX showed a little bit more. So maybe it's just because I didn't spread it well enough. Let's try it again. Oh, it's getting better. Let's try the bread test. I just got a piece of bread. Ah, not too bad. Oh, there it goes again. test. Uh, not bad. See? Let's try a sandwich. They always eat big sandwiches when they're doing their testing. I didn't have time to make a big sandwich, so I just did some bread. 
Is it coming off? No, see, see, pretty put, see, not bad. Okay. Thank you for joining for me from another episode of Katie's Beauty Corner. See you next time. Toodaloo. <laughs>